look at that. If you haven't finished up your holiday shopping yet, time is quickly running out. Christmas is now just under 26 hours away. CBS 8's Richard Allen hit the stores to see just how many of us are still working on those shopping lists mm. and finds that if you are one of those procrastinators, you're in good company. Well, that's right. At this stage of the game, it's essentially too late to go online for Christmas shopping. So procrastinators are packing brick and mortar stores like here at Las Americas, trying to wrap up those last minute purchases. Pues, para el trabajo. Juana Storga just started and was hoping to finish all of his holiday shopping tonight, telling us work's been so busy. This is the first chance he's had. Is he worried, though, he'll get it all done? No, so, so. <laughs> he joined thousands of other shoppers in a chilly, foggy night at Las Americas in search of that perfect present. While earlier in Claremont, reality was setting in for Angie and Jake yeah. Navarro. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. <laughs> They're down to just a few gifts still to buy. And with a newborn baby at home, Christmas this year has been more special and more expensive. We find ourselves spending more on clothes, more gifts. Uh, so, so I would say we're spending a lot more. And with inflation factored in, that's not difficult. Yeah, I feel like already everything's more expensive, but just even things like wrapping paper, just walking through the aisles, ornaments, Christmas lights, like a lot of that was way more expensive this year. Taylor Bradford coming to Target with her dog Lloyd has most of her Christmas shopping already completed. So I used to be that person who was like out at Christmas Eve at like 9 o'clock at night in the stores, and now I'm like, whatever I don't have, We'll figure it out later. Every single year, we always dress up. We always do all the things. For the Mormon family, holiday shopping is a tradition that can last for months. I always start early, but then I always end up last minute, too. <laughs> so, yeah, almost done. This holiday season, a survey by NerdWallet finds that nearly three quarters of shoppers will pay for their gifts using a credit card, charging on average about $663. We have to pull out the credit card here and there. For me, it was cards, yeah, de debit card um, and credit card too trying to rack up those points and the rewards and all that stuff. And as for those holiday shoppers who are putting at least part of their holiday shopping on plastic this year, that same survey finds it will take the average shopper about three months to pay off their holiday balance.